Hi guys, welcome back to my reaction video. And today's video, I will be reacting to 14 reasons why the Philippines is different from the rest of the world. And some of you have commented on my previous videos that I sound like a Filipino or I have the Filipino accent. Of course, I have told you like many times already that I stay here in the Philippines for long years and I still do live here in Cebu. That's the reason why I sound like Filipino. You can say I'm half Filipino, but my blood is Korean, but my culture and my, you know, other stuffs are like Filipino. You know what I'm saying? So let's get right into it, huh? Coconut? Oh, the turtles. What if I told you there is a country where over 175 languages are spoken, people text more than anywhere else in the world, and boxing fights directly influence crime rates? It sounds pretty much unbelievable, but it's all true in the Philippines. 14. There are more than 175 spoken languages. Wow. There are two official languages really? in the Philippines. Filipino, based on Tagalog, and English. Filipino is the most commonly spoken in pop culture language, and the government of the country uses English in their work. By the way, the Philippines are number five on the list of the world's top English-speaking populations after U.S., India, Pakistan, and the U.K. Whoa, really? U.S., India, Pakistan, U.K., and next to the U.K. is Philippines. Mm. So Philippines is the most English-speaking users. They're like top five. Wow, I, I'm impressed. I didn't know that. This sounds pretty plain and ordinary, but in fact, the diverse linguistic groups living in the country use over 175 languages for their internal communication. Since many of them exist only in spoken form, it's impossible to calculate the exact amount. Let's see. Official languages such as maybe Tagalog and Bisaya, Cebuano, Ilocano, Hiligaynon, Longo, Waray, Maguindanao, Ka Karampangan, Pagasian. Wow, there's a lot of languages I didn't know. 13. Their capital is the most densely populated city in the world. The nation's That's capital, true. Manila, and its 16 surrounding cities that make up the Metro Manila area, have a population of 12.8 million people. During the daytime, wow. this number gets way higher since many people That's come here to work. And while the number doesn't sound that crazy, yeah, that's a take note place. that all these people live and work in an area of 16.56 square miles. This makes the population mm. density equal to 111,002 people per square mile. And that's five times higher than in Mumbai or Paris, for example. 12. Really? They have churches in shopping malls. Shopping malls aren't merely well, a place where you buy stuff I for Filipinos. They are safe, air-conditioned community hubs with gyms, health clinics, concert halls, nightclubs, parks, and even churches inside. So it's no surprise. You know, it's very, very comfortable if if there's everything inside the mall, such such as in like a church. Your your specific church that you're going is that a little far. You just want to near more near churches. You just have to go. To the mall and there's a small church there you can just join the mass there with a priest so yeah that's a that's a really good thing like i mean who could have thought there's a churches in the mall right well that's only in the philippines so yeah so it's no surprise that they are the favorite place to meet up with friends for so many locals and three of the world's 10 largest shopping malls are located in the philippines they are mm -hmm. Mega Fashion Mall of SM Mega Mall, SM City North EDSA, and SM Mall of Asia. Mall of 11. Asia. Filipinos are the number one texting nation in the world. You already know Filipinos love meeting up with texting. friends at shopping malls, and when they can't see each other in person, they text. And when they do it, they rarely limit it to, hey, how are you? In fact, they That's send true, about 400 guys. million texts a day. Oh, 400 million texts a day? I mean, wow, that's that's really a lot. Let's say my friends in Korea, when I try to message them, they just get tired of doing a message because they're always busy at work. So they just do a call instead, not through a message. Here in the Philippines, they used to like always lo love texting. Sometimes when you do a call, the signals 
signal is not that great so you can just deliver your message through a text yeah so i think that's right and that's around 142 billion texts a year it's more wow. than the u.s and europe put together more than that's the u.s exactly a little number for a country of 107 million people 10. they have a unique form of transportation if you visit Manila, you'll notice some interesting looking jeepneys Jeep called jeepneys. They are converted U.S. Army jeeps that stayed in the country after World War II. Oh, Filipinos okay, adapted them to mm. transport up to 18 passengers who jump on the jeepney going in their direction and ring the bell for it to stop. There are about 50,000 jeepneys in Manila. and they Wait, ring a bell? How do you ring? Is there a bell there? I, I guess not. Like what I've learned here in Cebu, me me metallic bar? up there like like a handle and you just have to like you know like tuck, tuck, just, how do you call that? just hit the hit the bar with the coin so that that's the meaning that it's your stop now so the jeepney drivers will stop but the bad thing is about is like when you're driving like it stops everywhere it stops anywhere even in the middle of the road they just stop and they just let the passenger down and that's the only bad thing about it but when you're riding in it, it's it's not bad. Yeah, I've ride jeepneys, of course, a lot of times before. So, yeah, I I used to like, like, you know, tap the bar with with a coin. All look different with basketball stars, cartoon characters, inspirational quotes, neon lights, and whatnot on Yeah, the there decorations. There are two major problems with jeepneys, safety concerns and pollution. They produce mm. huge amounts of black smoke. Huge amount. So yeah. hurry up if you want to ride before they get replaced with a rapid transit system. Nine, one of the islands has more volcanoes than towns. The Philippines are without a doubt a super scenic location. Among Where's all the place? islands that are a part of it, Camigan sure stands out with more volcanoes per square mile than any other island on the planet. The wow. island is 14 miles long and 8.5 miles wide and has seven volcanoes and five towns. And even though earthquakes and eruptions shaped it, volcanoes have been deep asleep since the 50s. Well, that's so a dang thousands dangerous of place. can safely visit the island these days. Eight, their national flag has a secret meaning. The national flag of the Philippines has two bands of blue and scarlet and a white triangle at the hoist with a yellow sun and eight rays. You know, this is so very educational. Like, for example, if you're not a Filipino, if you're interested in Filipino culture, you can just come to my video and watch this or watch the bright side. This video is from the bright side. You can just watch it from there or in my video to see my reaction. Yeah. And yeah, this is very educational. You can see, you can tell the Filipino pop culture. And if you are interested, this is the way to go. Each of them standing for one province of the country. The yellow stars stand for the three largest island groups, Luzon, Visayas, oh, yeah. and Mindanao. What makes the flag that. really unique is that it can be reversed to declare a state of war. This happened oh, yeah. during the Filipino Revolutionary War of 1898 to 1901 and during World War II in 1941 to 1945. Seven, boxing Seven. directly affects crime rates in the country. Filipinos love boxing and are- You know, boxing, boxing is like their number one fan of sports because of Manny Pacquiao. You know, like Manny Pacquiao is like, he is a sen sen senator. senator? <laughs> How do, you, how do you pronounce that senator senator of the philippines and he's doing the good things like for the country and also in the boxing industry he's still he's 40 above and he's still doing a boxing and that's amazing his physical health is so strong you know what you know what i mean crazy about their most famous boxer manny pacquiao Whenever he mm, fights, the whole country is glued to its TV sets. And they according go wild. to the Philippine National Police, BNP, crime rates in the country drop significantly when he's in the ring. During his 12-round <laughs> fight against American... But that's true. That's so true. Because when there's a fight, everybody watches. I mean, literally everybody. Even the police stations and everywhere. Like, they turn on the TV and everybody gathers. And sometimes they block even the streets to watch that. I mean, yeah, isn't that amazing? 
boxer Floyd Mayweather Jr. that went from 9 a.m. Oh. to 3 p.m. Not a single crime was committed in the whole Manila metropolitan area. It was basically the same during other major fights with the participation of the people's champ, Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao. Six, a lot of Filipinos work abroad. It might be because oh, of their yeah, flexible and reliable character or the fact that they speak great English as a second language. But more than 11 million Filipinos work abroad. It's around 11% of the population. Mm -hmm. And a quarter of all overseas nurses in the world come from the Nurses. Philippines. Right, guys. A lot of years, the Filipino nurses here, after they graduate, they proceed right away to U.S. to pursue their dreams. And they pay a lot. And that's a great benefit. Great job. I don't know nowadays if they still accept Filipino nurses. Most of the Filipinos went abroad to work as a nurses in the U.S. Five. And for my next video, I'll be reacting to that. So stay tuned, guys, for the next video too. Their rice terraces are the eighth wonder of the world. But now a rice terraces are mm, the oldest in the world. Rice terraces. And were so smartly designed that they still bring a harvest of rice and vegetables, most of which get exported. And it is believed if all the terraces had been built end to end, they would stretch halfway around the world. That design Today, is so great. these places bring the country more money as a tourist I mean, destination it's like a design, than rice plantations. Though. And thus, they play an important role for the economy of the Philippines. Four, they produce a lot of coconuts. For years, the coconuts, Philippines yeah, had been course. the number one producer of coconuts in the world. And even though the leadership now... Even my house, there's a lot of coconuts. So we sometimes go and get it and we just drink it ahead, yeah. ...belongs to Indonesia, 153,532,000 tons per year is still an impressive number, isn't it? These coconuts are used to make anything from clothing wow. to beauty products. Three, the first European to visit the Philippines was Ferdinand Magellan. The Magellan. legendary explorer... Now that's a history there, so you gotta learn this the first record of the archipelagio among the Europeans in 1521. He founded the first settlement in Cebu and thus most of the area became a Spanish colony. Cebu. This explains the fact that around 90% of the population are Christian, unlike most of the country's neighbors. In 1898, the Philippines went under like U.S. Most, rule and later in Catholic, 1946 right? Catholic. became an independent republic. Two, independent. a Filipino made the first karaoke machine. If you love to sing really? along, you ought to thank Filipinos for your favorite pastime. The first karaoke machine in the world was created in 1975 by Roberto del Rosario. He patented as... Roberto del Rosario. Well, we have to thank him then. But sometimes in our neighborhood, like even it's 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 4 a.m., even up to 4 a.m., they were like singing. That's why sometimes we're having a bad time, bad day of sleeping. All I did was just to enjoy myself, the music, so that's all I can do. That will only make you happy. Because if you get stressed and with all the music that you, that you can't sleep, it's your loss. You can't do anything about that. But I feel great But because they are very happy with it. So yeah. The sing-along system, and even though there were some attempts to claim his creation, he still remains the only patent holder for the karaoke system. One, the population is extremely good looking. Along with their love for boxing, texting, and shopping, Filipinos are crazy about beauty pageants. It might be the years oh, of American true. rule that gave them this love for competitive. Even to the Miss Ilo Ilo, she won, right? So they're really like insane about boxing and Miss Universe because they are you know like they're like top of that like top of the Miss Universe and top of the boxing so they should really be, pr be proud of that beauty but the fact remains a fact they have won in all major international pageants 15 times that's there true were 15 times wow. Miss universe one miss world six title holders of miss international and four miss earth crowns the first oh, official pageant was that's held within the country in 1908 and since 2001 it's not just about beauty but also for the promotion of environmental protection Mm -hmm. Would you like to visit the Philippines? Or maybe you've already been there. Of course, Let me know in the should, comment guys. section below. Don't forget to give this video a like, share it with your friends, and click subscribe to stay on the bright side of life.
well that's it for the video and thank you brightside for this wonderful video that i can react on yeah this is very very educational video if you want to learn more about the philippines and i'm very very happy that i am reacting to this to help you guys to tell you guys about in my side about their side about your side so this is very educational guys so i'm very happy for the next video i'll be doing the like filipina woman or a male going to us for a as a nurse yeah so that will be the video for the next video so stay tuned guys so click like and subscribe for more videos thank you very much